Now to a morning original. These are stories you'll see first right here on Wake Up Central. Nathaniel Sweetwater Clifton, a Little Rock born trailblazer, is now seeing recognition on the big screen. The new film Sweetwater highlights his journey as an early Harlem Globetrotter and one of the first black NBA players. Wake Up Central's Michaela Johnson joins us now after getting a special sneak peek. All right, Michaela, tell us about it. Hey there, Karen and Hayden. I had the chance to sit down with ex Globetrotter and Arkansan Herbert Lang who portrays one of Nat Clifton's teammates in the film Sweetwater. The movie hits on adversity and the triumphs of Sweetwater's career, and I learned it left an impact on Herbert Lang and is sure to make one on viewers as well. Nathaniel Clifton always known he was born with a higher purpose. Nathaniel or Nat Sweetwater Clifton, known as the first African American to sign a contract with the National Basketball Association. Well, the first one along with Chuck Cooper and, and Earl Lloyd. A big shot made in history. Kind of breaking that color barrier. It's Jackie Robinson of basketball per se. Now getting recognition on the big screen. Clifton with a perfect set shot. Becoming the first black NBA player to sign a contract didn't come until 1950. But if we start from the beginning, Sweetwater was born right here in the capital city. It was kind of shocking the fact that I played for the Globe Charter for almost 20 years and I never knew that Sweetwater was from, you know, from Arkansas. And I never really knew that he was the first one you know, the sign the NBA contract. The film Sweetwater gives light to the trailblazers journey, the triumphs and the adversity. You know, back in the 40s and 50s, uh, African Americans, they weren't really allowed to play in the NBA, so they had to go off and do their own thing. They played on teams like the Globe Charters and the New York Rams, and the Globe Charters couldn't even check into a hotel room. But Herbert Lang, a proud Arkansan from Brinkley and an ex Globe Trotter, plays Babe Presley, one of Sweetwater's friends and Globe Trotter teammates. He was actually one of the what they call the originals. He played for almost 20 years. Like myself, he ended up being a player and coaching. According to Lang, Sweetwater doesn't lack Arkansas flavor, with Bobby Portis Jr. portraying the NBA icon Earl Lloyd. He was the first one to actually play in the game. For Lang, working on set was a dream come true. We shot at Disney Ranch, which was amazing, uh, and then having an opportunity to film on Studio uh, 14 on Warner Brothers parking lot. Lang says he took a lot away from working on Sweetwater, and he expects viewers will too. And now his story is actually being told. Hey, there's a lot of basketball movies out right now, but I think that this will be one that will touch home to, you know, to a lot of people. Well, again, mm. the film is, of course, called Sweetwater, oh, and it's playing today and tomorrow at the Riverdale 10 Theater and the Cinemark Colonel Glen 18. So, you know, if you want to go have a nice little afternoon, Let's go. you can go see that. Oh, my gosh. Such history. And so much Arkansas so amazing in there, too. too. And that's the thing, too. And I want to know how good Bobby Portis' is acting chops uh, right. are. I'm curious. You know, good on the court. Let's we'll see if he can, you know, do <laughs> yeah. it in the theater. Well, he's we want to see that. that. <laughs> I and neither was Nat. I know. And the, a really good player, a really good person. Um, and so Herbert, of course, didn't get to meet him. You know, yeah. Clifton, he at Sweetwater, he's long gone, but mm -hmm. his impact is still around. It is, and mm -hmm. now it's freshly to a new generation. Yes. So oh, cool. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Michaela, oh, that's great stuff. That's great. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Great assignments mm -hmm. you get. <laughs>